Waffles, eggs, bacon. What is up, good, wonderful people? Good and wonderful people. Sorry, messed that up a little bit. Let me try my intro one more time. What is up, good and wonderful people? Coming at y'all with another Wentworth theory. Did Joan Ferguson survive being buried alive? You know, I talked about this in a live chat where I had very few. Come, look, let me let me say this before I get into this. Yo, for all you Wentworth fans, always talking about, I don't talk about Wentworth enough. I titled a fucking live chat for you guys, and you didn't show up. The Orange and New Black crowd outnumbered you by like four to one. So next time, I'm going to announce when I have one. Y'all better show up. If you if you think Wentworth is a better show, show up and represent. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, getting back to this. I talked about this in the live chat. Whether or not I think Joan Ferguson survived or not. And the thing is, I always have an issue with the way movies and TV get rid of a big baddie. If you have this big, giant villain, this villain needs to go out in a big way. You get what I'm saying? They need to go out either suffering or beaten and bloody and it needs to be like an all out brawl. I hate when they kill a villain in a stupid way or an easy way. For example, I just talked about the way they killed Piscatella in Orange and New Black, how you have this big bad villain and he gets shot and it's over with. I feel cheated there. I, I feel like he didn't suffer, nothing happened, he died, boom, we move on. That sucks. That's lazy writing in my opinion. Um, let me give you like a, the biggest example that, that always pisses me off. Um, Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, right? So you remember they fought Shredder in the first one at the end, right? And he whooped their ass for like a good 20 minutes. And then Shredder shows, uh, not Shredder, I'm sorry. Splinter shows up and, you know, throws him over and he gets crushed by the, uh, it takes him to get crushed by the dump truck to, and we think he's dead. Now he should have been. Seriously, but whatever, we needed a sequel. So we get Shredder in the sequel. And they're fighting him on the dock. And then he gets to ooze and he grows like 12 feet tall and he becomes a uh, super Shredder. And I mean, if you're a kid back then and you're watching this for the first time, you're excited because this shit's about to get crazy. I mean, they had trouble beating regular size Shredder in the first one, right? I mean, they really didn't. Uh, Splinter did it. So now you got super Shredder, shit's about to get crazy. And they just let him grow and grow, and then the doc falls on him, and then he dies. The fuck was that? You took one of the biggest supervillains, made him even bigger, and then just kind of killed him with a dock? You killed him with a bunch of wood? That's what you did? Fuck those writers for that. Joan Ferguson is a big, bad villain. So for you to sit and tell me that she's dead because of some wood and some dirt and I've watched Kill Bill with little ass Uma Thurman dug her way out of a, a six foot hole, get out of here. That hole was not six feet. Will Jackson did not dig a, a, six, feet, a six foot hole. That hole was probably no more than two and a half, maybe three feet. Not even that deep. And, and the dirt was loose. So this loose, shallow grave in that cheap-ass wood box built by a bunch of inmates who didn't want to be there in the first place? Come on. This shouldn't even be a discussion. This shouldn't even be a question. This woman... Th there's a lot of stuff I did not like what they, what they did with Jones' character. Like, she's all this... She's strong and powerful and had all this power. And then when the girls surround her, she snaps and reverts to telling on herself about shit and ruining her plan. Like, that was dumb. I'm sorry to the writers of Wentworth. That was stupid. Everybody always talk about Wentworth has better writing. In this case, no, it did not. That was horrible. There's no way in the fuck this character who has climbed this hill to get this power, who has killed and manipulated and has evidence on people that now she's surrounded by inmates and now she's going to crack. Get the fuck out of here with that.
that would not happen. Not not with the character you've gave you've gave us for all these seasons. No bullshit. Straight up bullshit. But anyway, it happened, so we gotta get over that. So, do I really think that she would die from this? No. What is she? I think she's like five eleven, six feet tall. She could stand up and be out of there. Like, Will didn't dump, like, a big, you know, like a dump truck full of cement and dirt on top of her and, a, and, a, and some cement bricks. She should be able to easily lift herself up out of that fucking dirt. No problem. And we see her escaped, um, probably out, probably have some contact somewhere. I know she has some contact somewhere. And, you know, either her and Frankie are going to come to a head on the outside or she's going to get caught, come back in the inside and raise pure hell on everybody that's just my opinion y'all thank you guys so much for watching uh thank to everybody wentworth fans uh orange is the new black fans everybody who watches my videos um go check out other videos i've done this week i got a freddy krueger video out i have a um i have a video about the show ozark on netflix out right now I got a show. Uh, I got a video about Hey Arnold, the movie out. So go check out all my other videos. You know, um, I'm trying to expand into different shows and doing different things here on the channel. So I really hope y'all support that. And I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.